Neil, you wanted a big performance from your team. You didn't get it. What's your uh, thoughts on that performance tonight? No, I got the, the total opposite. First half was... We started off OK and then we got really ragged with the ball and we've lost the goal from a set play again, which is down to the you know lack of hunger, wanting to defend, to get the first contact. It shouldn't happen. It's not even a great corner. But we're so lackadaisical and that summed up our night. I don't know where that performance came from and I can only apologise to the supporters, but um, the players know that's totally unacceptable. If you get it back to 2-1, we're looking like we're in the game then, you know, we've, we've had to chase it and, um, you know, we're giving away a really poor third goal from our point of view. And if we can't defend as a unit, then, you know, we're going to concede goals. The hungrier team won tonight and that's on the players. Is that lack of hunger concerning for you? Well, I'll have to change the culture then, you know. I'll have to have a sea change over the next couple of days and, you know, get back on point because we go from playing really well in the semi-final to, you know, an insipid performance tonight. And, um, look, I, I defend the players to the hilt, but I can't defend that tonight. Callum McGregor w was kind enough to talk to us after the game and he said he was embarrassed by the performance. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. You know, I can't sort of mince my words tonight. Um, you know, uh, as a collective, as individuals, it was a very poor performance. For a team that was so self-assured last season particularly, where do you think this has come from, as you say, after such a, a strong performance in the semi-final at the weekend? Um, attitude, you know, it's definitely, from where we were this time last season, you know, I don't know if it's complacency or, but there's a definite lack of hunger there tonight and that's really disappointing because, you know, th these players have gone to the well many, many times, but, um, you know, that's, that's not acceptable, it's not good enough and... You know, fingers will point at the manager, which is fine, but uh, we set the team out with a strong team out tonight, and um, just relax the days ago, lazy at, at really important points of the game, and um, Sparta thoroughly deserved the win, which you know is tough to say. Yeah, you, you said that at the weekend that you know you felt some of the negativity previously was unjust. What do you think the reaction to this is going to be? Probably justified. You know, like I say, I can't defend that, so. Um, we'll have to regroup and um, definitely change the attitude in the dressing room. You've talked about the players there, but do you look at yourself after a result such course, as this? Of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, well, I mean, we we thought we had a strong team out, um, and then we changed. We had to, we changed. You know, we got back to two-one. You're thinking, good. You know, we've got a bit of head of steam up, and then you know we've given away two poor goals. You know, the fourth one's academic, the third one's the killer, and it's really poor from our point of view. And we're seeing footage as well, I'm not sure if you're aware of it yet, of Mohamed Elianoussi, who looked to be looking at his phone on the, in the stand when he was subbed off. What, what would you say to that? Well, he better not have been. So, again, that's something I'll deal with. And just finally, Neil, you know, how, how do you pick the players up now heading into a, a vital game at the weekend? Yeah, we got it. Look, it looks like, you know, Europe's gone now, so we have to concentrate on, on the league and, um, you know, the, the cup competitions when they come around. But... You know, we need a definite reaction from the weekend. Thank you for talking to Cheers, us. Thanks. Cheers, thanks.